here on the Please Me Fro on YouTube channel. Dude, love me some hot dogs, dude. So, uh, you know, we don't have a grill, obviously, but we got yeah. something better. Better be better. Yeah. I'm hungry. We got the grill coming. Yeah, How's it going? How you doing? Matt, Matt great to meet you, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Well, yeah. I like the looks of this. What could go wrong? Nothing. What Good. size is it? It's a 60. It puts out about 13 pounds. 13 pounds of thrust? Yeah. That should be enough to cook one of these, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> right after All this, right. right into the B12, dude. All right. Yeah, I know. The B2. It'll be the B12. Full display of RPM. Is, oh, wow. What kind of RPM will this thing? Uh, about 100 and 130,000, something like that. <laughs> You, you can watch so it'll rpms right here and it'll show the temperature oh wow let her get chooching before you go in there oh we need her full oh. burner oh wow here, full burner for this is that just a starter <laughs> this is sick! This is insane! So right now, 18,000 RPM. And it's going to go to 130. 100 and something. Oh, feel that! There's a lot of air. <laughs> and how much is a setup like this? Uh, that turbine, just the turbine itself, is probably like around fifteen, sixteen hundred. Wow, sixteen hundred bucks. That one's about. And you're selling this one? Yeah. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> be silly not to. Now. We're done. We'll take it. I mean, that's a new price. I'm selling. I'm not selling for that. Oh. I'm selling for. It. What's your used price? Uh, I'm asking nine hundred. We'll take it. We got a second. We need some. Spare we need parts. two. <laughs> Woo! Look at that unit. So guys, now watch your step, bud. Don't step on the B2. <laughs> Although it is indestructible. That's true. My B2 is indestructible. I break my leg. Don't expect to buy a B2 and expect it to be this tough. Mine's just a different breed. All right. So now that I'm a turbine owner, I'm going to be installing this on the B2. She's a little heavier than I thought she'd be, honestly. But we're gonna weigh the B2 right now and then we're gonna weigh all the additional equipment we have. She's zeroed out, we got the old Mettler. Mettler Toledo. We oh, show it there. Holy Toledo, dude. She's an eight and a half pounder. 8.45. Now we're gonna weigh all of this, which also needs a 2F battery to run this fuel pump. Okay, all right. The Three float. pounds, dude. That's not too shabby, right? Yeah, so we'll get 11 pounds. This will probably be equivalent to a, probably equivalent to a 2S battery. Oh, that might be a little light. Close to 12 pounds. For a plane? I don't think it's too right. much for that. A jet-powered plane, you know? I mean, think about how much more thrust she's going to have. Said, 15 pounds of thrust on top of the twin electric engines because i'm keeping them <laughs> we're keeping everything rolling so i think we're good i can't see a single thing going wrong i can't think of a single thing so let me show you where i'm playing on mountain like right here <laughs> on top of your lid brother what if it flies off well it's gonna be mounted like here 
in here, so you'll be able to take the lid off. You just gotta slide it like that. So you're trying to keep the CG kind of where it's at? Is that the... Well, I mean, it's kind of like Leroy, you know? Like, I like having the turbo yeah, jump high, okay. so I think I put the engine <laughs> kind of up there. And I'm just gonna have Ty make like a little <laughs> bracket that goes from here to here yeah. to here. And then we'll just glue it on. Glue it? It'll be, it'll be strong. I mean, I want to see this happen so bad. It looks so cool from right here. But that's the spot. Will this void the warranty? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. I got a lifetime warranty yeah. on it. If I crash it, you know, it's all it's all covered. So. That's like CD right there. Okay. I think so. Can you, can you build that for me? Oh yeah. Okay. Can you That's build no it problem. in six minutes? I need it in the next. I'm gonna five need minutes. at least five. seven. <laughs> but it needs to lay like when it gets down in here, it needs to lay smooth on there so I can put glue. Okay. A lot of science going on here, Jack Stan. I don't know if you're ready for what we're about to show you. Let's put the bunch. Oh, here we go. Bunch of wheat, wheat whittlers over here. <laughs> Had to pull tie off of you know fish in a roll cage and rear end to do this, but this is important. Why does it spin? That's the starter. It comes out and. <laughs> oh, fancy. Yeah. So it's gonna be like that. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna put a lot, whole lot of glue right here. Is that uh, the Good Bond glue or is that the Amazon glue? Uh, this is the good stuff. Foam tack, okay. I wish I could feel it here. Let's just set everything and see what the CG feels like. Just, just stick it like off to yeah. This is the test. This Ooh, is this. That's, that's about right. Is it? I think that's about right. What's going on over here now? So, Ty built these custom brackets, but See how this is all like kind of beveled through here? Yeah, it's not really flat. flat sword. So what we're gonna do is get that metal really hot on the brackets and go melt you in an inlay. Melt it in and then it'll be perfectly flat. It'll be a way better bonding surface for the glue we're using. Okay. Pretty How's good. that look, boys? That looks pretty good right there. Perfect. Is it not hot enough? Oh, it's, 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 it's cooking some stuff. Burning my fingers. It's cooking you. Ow! <laughs> Thin. Yeah, <laughs> looks. Dude, oh, she's smoking. Perfect. She yeah. is smoking. That's money, Ty. That is perfect. <laughs> so now, look, it sits right down in there. Dude, that's gonna bond up so good. Okay, yeah. start torching the other side. <laughs> Precision. So, what do you call this rig with three? Is it a hybrid? It's a hybrid, technically. Try. Jet powered B2. Yeah, we got a we got a 6S battery powering two EDFs, and then we got a single 15 pound thrust turbine or 13 pound thrust turbine. It's Literally, kind of like a cool version of a Prius. Nothing can go wrong. Honestly. Not a single thing. All right, look over there. I'm gonna try and get the other side guided in a little bit. You got your your Eagle leveler on that thing. Yep. Melting. What could possibly get wrong at this point now? It's, that is, like it was it's made, like one solid Like piece it was now. made for it. See, look at that. <laughs> Dude, it actually ended up perfect. All right. Let's just Some slowly replace just... all these cars with RC cars. Man, this is just... <laughs> I'm done. I'm down. Look how precise that is. How much gobba goop are we talking? I mean, I'm going pretty hard. It's got to hold a freaking jet engine. Okay. I like your uh, figure eight double back. Yeah, you got to do like a little double back figure eight with a little hypotenuse. Walk in the cup. He I is walking the cup. <laughs> you are. <laughs> takes welding it up. Right now, uh, that back. final stringer gapa goop. Okay, double double the gapa goop. Hit this up. Right down Took a little swirl like a heat. Make welding that thing away. Okay, I see. Ooh. There's right. string to string action going on there. All we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it on there. Oops. We're gonna let it stick it on. Now we gotta pull it off. Let it tack, let it tack up. up. Oh, let's get this. Let's get this oh, off of here, dude. We're on the paint. 
Oh, watch the paint. Boy. That'd be the best way to just hold it for the next yeah. 30 minutes to an hour. Stay here for about 45 minutes, I think. I mean, let me come in here and just weld in the seam. Yeah. Okay. Well, mm, mm. sporty. I mean, this thing's putting out some thrust. It'll Dude. blow your hot dog clean in half. First whack, it just blows clean off the top. That'd be catastrophic, dude. We've I don't think such, that's out of the question. We've had such great success with this. We cannot fail first mission again. Cannot do it. Try it. Then what, what button did you hit? Should I ignite it? No, I mean, I would. Oh, there's, there's uh, air in the line. Oh, oh. God. I feel like we should not be doing this in here right now. Guys, I need to unplug it. I don't feel scared at all. Let her run. Guys, I don't know about this. We just glued it. Just hold it down. Hold the bracket down. I didn't think it was going to start. Do it right now. Brother. What are we doing? Put your fingers down. Yeah, hold it. It's got to melt up. Cool itself down. How does oh, it feel? Maybe our Let's go! <laughs> this thing's gonna work perfect. All right, so look, we'll just oh, take. Oh, I should probably vent that. Sucker burns a lot of fuel. There's I mean, it went lot. through that just basically idling. So I may have to put the bigger tank on it, which I do have a larger tank. But I don't think this is like an air tank. I think this I is think for that, show. This is not yeah, quite airworthy. But so far, I feel like everything we're seeing right now is leading to that this is gonna be a huge success. All right, so we're gonna be removing one of our pilots here. Put our data terminal right here in the window seat. She's all done? For you to see, check up on it, what do you think? There we go. Pretty clean. Right? Oh my goodness, dude. Check this out, computer in oh. the cockpit. So we'll be nice. able to see. So now I'm just looking out the window? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I put you over here. <laughs> Dude, you got the big tank, so you can go you, you can go anywhere. Yeah, I mean, we got, one, we got one 20 ounce bottle Mountain Dew full of jet fuel. And then it goes over here to this like sump tank, so this will never really get empty. Uh, the CG on this thing is literally. Right. Are the shocks on your uh, landing gear pretty? Yeah, I mean, there's something there. But look, the center of gravity is right here at these like wing tips. And if I grab, it's barely nose heavy right now. So I just got to slide this Mountain Dew bottle back a smidge. <laughs> oh, nice. And then, I mean, it's it's pr picking up exactly where the center of gravity is. So all, all we got to do now is stick these two batteries in, which they'll go like here and here. And she's ready for a flight. We're gonna let all this stuff dry. We got some glue on here, some sticky stuff. We'll let it all dial in. And then tomorrow we'll hit the flying field to see if this thing works. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.